Welcome top news today. Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School student Cameron Kasky asks a question of Senator Marco Robio RFLA. During a CNN town hall meeting at the BBT Center in Sunrise, FLA, on Wednesday, Michael Lachlan Apsen, Marco Robio's new openness to tighter restrictions on firearms left gun control advocates clamoring Thursday for a tougher stand from the Florida Republican, as he took to Twitter to reflect on his emotionally charged exchanges with survivors of last week's deadly high school shooting and the parents of the victims. During a CNN town hall Wednesday that attracted widespread attention, Rubio endorsed raising the age requirement from 18 to 21 for buying an AR-15-style rifle, putting him at odds with the National Rifle Association, and said he was reconsidering his opposition to placing new limits on high-capacity magazines. At the same time, he reiterated his opposition to banning assault weapons and declined to reject future financial contributions from the NRA. The group has spent more than $3 million on his behalf, federal campaign finance records show. Even as Rubio's new stance encouraged some gun control advocates, they demanded more from the senator, who has come under heavy criticism in the wake of the shooting for not doing more to curb gun violence. The attack at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School in Parkland, FLA, left 17 people dead. Al Hoffman Jr., an influential GOP donor who backed Rubio's first run for the Senate in 2010, expressed disappointment that Rubio didn't take a stronger stand against assault weapons. He's totally beholden to the gun lobby, said Hoffman, who is pushing for new gun restrictions. But Hoffman said, Rubio's took some good first steps. John Feinblatt, president of the gun control group Everytown for Gun Safety, said that his organization was hopeful to hear Sen. Rubio's willingness to reconsider his opposition to common-sense gun laws. But he also warned that every politician aligned with the NRA against gun safety should expect the same reception Sen. Rubio received last night. The town hall revealed we have a long way to go in being able to believe deeply on an issue yet hear out other side. Rubio wrote on Twitter on Thursday. He also issued tweets referring to his concerns about banning the sale of assault weapons. At the CNN event, Fred Gutenberg, whose 14-year-old daughter, Jamie, was killed in last week's shooting, delivered a blunt message to Rubio. I want to like you. Gutenberg told the senator, but he couldn't after what he had heard. Your comments this week and those of our president have been pathetically weak. Gutenberg continued, staring Rubio down as the crowd around him rose to applaud. Rubio stood expressionless as the weight of the moment washed over both men. For an instant, raw emotion was on display live on national television even as no words were spoken. An agonizing week crystallized in 20 long seconds. Look at me and tell me guns were the factor in the hunting of our kids in this school this week. Gutenberg said, gesturing with his left hand for emphasis. And look at me and tell me you accept it, and you will work with us to do something about guns. Rubio, who throughout his career has been a scripted and, at key moments, risk-averse politician, found himself in a volatile and deeply personal discussion. Then, he took another unexpected step. He espoused new positions on guns that marked a move away from the powerful gun rights movement that has long influenced the actions of most Republican members of Congress, including himself. I absolutely believe that in this country if you are 18 years of age, you should not be able to buy a rifle and I will support a law that takes that right away. Rubio said, articulating a position that put him at odds with the NRA. The NRA did not immediately respond to a request for comment on Rubio's overall comments at the town hall. But at least one Republican colleague agreed with him, as Sen. Pat Roberts can said the minimum age for purchasing assault rifles should be raised. In a discussion at the town hall with Chris Grady, a senior at the high school, Rubio explained his new thinking on ammunition capacity. I traditionally have not supported looking at magazine clip size. And after this, and some of the details I've learned about it, I'm reconsidering the position, Rubio said. The crowd applauded. While it may not prevent an attack, it may save lives in an attack. Rubio added. Cameron Kasky, a junior who survived the shooting, asked Rubio whether he would refuse donations from the NRA. The crowd cheered, but Rubio stood solemn, with his hands first folded behind his back, then in front. People buy into my agenda.
Rubio said, reciting an oftest talking point. He declined to say he would reject future money. Kasky upped the ante, wagering that he could get people in the audience to give Rubio as much money as the NRA would send him. Rubio, appearing a bit more frustrated but still composed, would not budge. I will always accept the help of anyone who agrees with my agenda, he said. Even so, Rubio's willingness to endure the contentious debate won him plaudits. Thank you and Mark Rubio for actually coming out it means a lot, tweeted David Hogg, a student who survived the shooting.